things that Libras like. Like Hennessy? Good holiday gifts. <laughs> You're not getting no Hennessy, boy. Do you like a drum set? That sounds good. Yeah, I like good. drum set. That's cool. How much? gonna get me them for Christmas. Thanks, babes. No problem. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> They're just for rent, though. We have to return them. <laughs> <laughs> Buy them on loan. Would you guys pay that much for headphones? I don't even think they look that nice. Like, even for the price, I expect them to be, I don't know, something more grand. Okay, let's see some more of this magazine. Yeah, yeah. Are you a Libra? Sagittarius. Things that Libras like. I like Hennessy. Good holiday gifts. <laughs> You're not getting no Hennessy, boy. Do you like a drum set? That sounds good. Yeah, I like good. drum set. Drum set? Why are all, right. all these it's gifts so bucks. expensive, though? It's two hundred fifty dollars. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I hope this girl's not there, Libra. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sagittarius and Capricorn. They like furs. <laughs> Apparently. And tweezers. And tweezers. And tweezers. Okay, check out what this is. Who's that? My darling's from the kids. My baby's from the gym. Guys, we're in the hair store and we just met our first subscribe. Well, yeah, subscriber in public. It was so cool. It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> she was so sweet and her name was Jennifer. So shout out to you, Jennifer, and your daughter. Thank you so much for watching our channel and for subscribing. You guys are awesome. She's so sweet. That was really, really neat. <laughs> Now I'm here waiting for this wig. This wig right here I'm checking out. You guys have noticed I haven't worn a wig in a long time because I've been keeping it safe with braids. And I in fact already stated that when I take this out I'm going to put braids back in. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the short in between stage I will get something like this. So we'll see how that goes. Hi guys. We're in the car. Hi. Okay, I don't know her. <laughs> it's raining outside and we're in the Tim Hortons line. Yeah, I'm ordering a strawberry shortcake even though I have no idea what that is because mom, mom jabbed at me in the line and she's like, what do you want? And I'm like, okay, nothing. I don't know. I, I panicked and I said, yeah. okay, I'll have what Charlotte's having. And Charlotte's having a strawberry shortcake donut, I think. Yeah. Okay, so it's like it's raspberry Boston cream. Donut? One Boston cream, okay, two so sh okay. strawberry shortcake. Donut. I'll tell you what, well, it's, my lips are dry. it's like these two buns. Every time I put lip gloss on them, they always just dry back up. And then you put cream. Don't tell mom I did that. It's in the <laughs> They're back there, doing nothing I've of importance. Back to Nina. <laughs> I've actually had a strawberry shortcake. Really? But I didn't actually get a taste because I had a strawberry yeah. So who ate it? Me. I still had it. Okay, seven, I can oh, so you didn't actually get to taste it. Ah, sorry about the glare. It's yeah, I'm going to use you guys as a mirror quickly because I have parted my hair and I want to make sure it's parted right. There. I had parted my hair but it's not parting right. No. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to be coming out soon. Yeah. Soon. So yeah, anyway, our donuts are here. I'm going to eat Thank you. donuts. So. Bye. So we are heading back home, guys. We are out of town right now and we... Just came to the hair store. Everyone on the street is driving crazy. They are not 
they're, some are driving super slow. I know it's a rainy day, but they're not driving so other people can get a chance to even go. Mm, so good. So ridiculous. So glad I got this. What were you saying? <laughs> Honestly, when you're in Toronto driving, you've got to drive aggressively in order to get from point A to point B because you won't get anywhere. You'll just be sitting there waiting to go. But yeah, it was so cool meeting a subscriber. It was so neat. Thank you for saying hey, girl. She was so nice. And oh, I forgot to touch base and tell you guys where I was coming from this morning. So this morning we went to the clinic. Erin went to work this morning and the, it just so happens that the clinic is close by where he's at so he was able to just kind of meet us there for the appointment time because he had to do blood work in it and then I had to do blood work in, among other tests yeah other invasive tests <laughs> but um, yeah that went well so far so good I didn't tell you guys what's happened so far we've t done I've done in regards to the tubal reversal thing, I've gone, I've done a series of tests, and I'm gonna go more in depth. And I'm gonna do like a specific video. That way, it's not just included in the vlog, and it will just be, I guess, for adults who are interested in watching that. Adult females, I guess, yes, <laughs> who want to know more about my journey. And I'm gonna tell you because that way you'll learn a little bit about the details and the ins and outs. If you are a person inquiring on um, or interested in tying your tubes or untying interested in untying your tubes that's what I meant to say it's just hard to focus and draw and drive at the same time y'all are very important and I'm trying to give you my undivided attention but you know that's not possible when I'm driving so um I'm gonna do a sit down video for you guys when I get home I've also heard you guys request the whole um, juju on the beach challenge which I've been down on the girls to do I just want to ensure that there's good lighting and it's just been hard because you know with the move and trying to still unpack guys it is crazy trying to unpack and trying to get this library together that library is something else it is something else and like just looking at the library on a whole because we had these books before but they were dispersed among you know bedrooms each girl at the old house had a bedroom uh, a bookshelf in their room um, and then we had some in the living room, but then we had like a little library area downstairs when I mean, it was just a tiny library area. So it's just different putting all of the bookshelves together and creating an actual library. I think that it's really neat. We're super, we're, we're really excited about it. I like to use the term super excited because I do get super excited. You can hear it. But I, we're, we're really excited about it. Can't wait for it to be finished and we'll definitely give you guys a tour. But in the process of doing so, it's it's tedious, it's time consuming, and just trying to make sure that things are going its right in its rightful spot, and while also decluttering, is forgive me if you can hear the wipers. I just turned them off, but if you can hear them. But yeah, just just trying to put things in this rightful spot, and also decluttering things that we don't need. It takes a little bit of time because when we were packing the go, I didn't have much time to declutter. So that was, you know, it. It, it is what it is and at the same time I'm trying to part with stuff I've got a bunch of stuff like large things that I need to list on garage sale or and Kijiji to just get rid of that we're not using like this particular hutch in our living room if I have a picture of it I'll interject it here to show you but I'll no longer be using it and it was I've kept I've held on to it because I really actually do like it and the back of it is the, the hutch itself is like a beige color and the back of the inside is like a light like a bluish color which is not like a typical it's it's not a typical decor color so it's that's a downside to it but I've always looked at it as like a nice piece that one could or that I could upgrade by just painting it white or something or some kind of contrast color in the back but the time is never there to do so and even right now within the in the new house I just don't see the space for it like the space sure we have space we have a ton of space but it just wasn't in the, the design plan it's country and our design is no longer country it's more kind of modern and rustic I'm trying to make it a little rustic because I do like that style so that piece is very country and it was a piece that I inv we inherited from my in-laws so that's a part of why I wanted to keep it because it's I guess it holds sentimental value but at the same time I don't want to hold on to stuff that just doesn't you know it's not gonna 
What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Michaela, Michaela. I have no idea. What? I'm just Get wondering where my donut went. <laughs> oh my you god. You ate it already? Squish dad don't donut. squish my donut. That's not dad's donut. That's my donut. Oh, sorry. You see how they do me wrong? I I'm sitting, you in, I'm oh sitting in the car. I ordered a donut. Your daddy is at work until this evening. And you're sorry, telling, you and you thought that I got him a donut. Mom? Yeah. Where'd mine go? Mm. Mom, sorry? Mom? Yes, yes, yes. What? Your Sharpie. Oh, Michaela, you're going down, baby. Mom, uh, my do <laughs> oh, don't forget to check out my my uh, haul video that I posted on the on my beauty channel, the at the zebra tribe on my beauty channel, Beauty by Chick. I want to get into the habit of posting more videos, and I've been thinking like perhaps that's where I should be doing some of these sit down videos because then you guys will have a you know. A reason. And you get a reason. No, I'm sorry. That sounded really bad. I'm sorry. Then you get. So check out check out my beauty channel, Beauty by Chick, and uh, just check out my latest haul video that I posted. Just the things that I got. But I want to do more sit down videos over there. So let me know if you guys are interested in that, and if let me know if you subscribe to my beauty channel, so I can you know give you guys a little shout out shout out to these people so I'm doing a little shout out in this video too shout out to Alicia I will write your name I don't remember your last name but Alicia Alicia or is it Alicia I think it's Alicia you are so sweet in your comments and just the you know the nice words that you've said to us and just your encouragement and motivation and your support really appreciate it girl Nina uh, Nina justice I want to say I hope I didn't get that wrong but Nina thank you so much for supporting our channel you have been supporting our channel for a long time I have seen you watching our videos and commenting and you always have such nice uh, words to say and yeah just words of wisdom and encouragement and we really appreciate that that it means so much to us what else come in the bit come in and, I'm just waiting I don't I don't read the comments you should read the comments I know and but um, I Sylvia, don't Sylvia, I don't remember your last name again. I might interject it in here, but you also said that your daughter watches, and your daughter's a great big fan, a big fan of the girls, and she's a big fan of Brie because she has glasses. So that I that's have glasses. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> don't be sad. She loves all of you. Aww. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, go ahead, do your cry face. <laughs> that is so random. That's a lie. Anyways, guys, bye hey, for now. For watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>